I'm gonna list this. My priority is listing this one. Today is July 24th. It is a Monday and I'm currently packing some orders. Well, I have one order and then I have some Depop orders or Mercari orders, different things. But this one I'm packing is for Andrea. So she got the August monthly calendar, which is this one right here. It's very simple, but I think it's really dainty because of the sunflower designs and it kind of complements each other with the brown and the rusted yellow i really like that color and then we have some paycheck one right here these are the budgeting stickers i'm talking about there's paycheck one and then there's paycheck two because i'm guessing she has two paychecks for the month of august and then she has the august budgeting layout which is kind of like the main structure for your budget if you are gonna start budgeting or sticker budgeting but she bought that as well and then she bought two sinking funds tracker and then she bought two spending trackers so these are really helpful to keep account of your spending and then you kind of just highlight it in different colors when you kind of like for example groceries are red that's all of your spending you highlight it in red and then like yellow is for personal allowance and then gas is like green that's how some people keep in track of their spending because it is very helpful to keep in track of your spending in that way some people do the budget expense in the calendar where you just put different you allocate colors to different categories basically um so yeah i'm just packing up her order i was printing and cutting some stuff that she does need um, that i don't have because i don't bulk printing cut anymore because i really don't get that much orders as far as like any kind of orders to be honest and that's just the reality of things so i kind of changed my strategy to just print and cut what i need and what people order so i don't waste my sticker paper um so i'm also needing to design my september kit i keep telling myself i need to and i feel like i'm not even gonna finish it today so i'm not gonna play games with my husband tonight because i need to finish september kit so i can have that up for you guys and then i also need to start looking at october because technically i'm actually behind on things but I mean October isn't even here yet but people like to budget in advance but you know I could at least get September kit out this week but I did work this weekend I worked Saturday and Sunday at Target I hope you guys enjoyed a little glimpse of what my day looks like it wasn't that bad this weekend except maybe Saturday Saturdays are always bad at Target I don't know everyone is there every Saturday like it's just so busy but I guess in our town, people don't have a lot of stuff to do. And we are the only Target for another two hours. So I kind of get it. We don't have a lot of Target where we live. But anyways, today, yeah, I need to do all of those. And we actually need to grocery shop. So we made the list for our meal plan for the week. And then we're going to go grocery shopping today. And then I'll drop off my orders. And I need to do some Amazon returns too. So some stuff that I just don't really want that i've tried i don't really want them so as you guys know i'm trying to declutter so i'm also trying to get rid of stuff that i don't really need and a lot of different things going on honestly so i've been really enjoying sharing my life with you guys not just the shop part which i've been doing last year i'm looking at my older vlogs i do share everything and i kind of love that type of vlogging and I feel like a lot of you guys do too because I feel like you can connect with me that way. Especially some of the stuff that I'm doing. And, you know, like this whole moving transition would be kind of exciting to vlog as well. Because I saw that I also vlogged us moving, like with our friends helping us out. So that was pretty cool too, to have that. So I'm definitely going to do that this time again and then we're probably i don't know i'm not gonna say anything i said last time we weren't gonna move for another two or three years but here we are moving but they are raising their prices to almost 1700 dollars where i'm living at right now for the place if we renewed our lease 
and we just can't do that and I know I, you guys can relate like the rent is going so crazy high everything is so high so I'm so glad that we made this decision to move in with our friends and to move into like a cheaper place the only downside is it's pretty far from the city that we're living in right now it's a little bit of a loss but I think it's worth the you know the savings that we'll get so I'll still you know hustle as much as I can and just figure things out that way but this is what the end of like everything packaged up I like to package my my orders in pink tissue paper and then of course my art which I need to make more cute girls they're just my favorite to do I just haven't like I said I've been saying this I haven't just been myself lately and I'm slowly still figuring things out I just have so much crap in my head that I can't seem to figure things out and I want to do so much things and I'm trying to see what will work what won't work and it's just a reality of things right now for me and in my head I just can't get my stuff together I'm slowly getting there like I said it's been a process but we were gonna go to the Georgia mall today because we were gonna take Mia to like the little play area we decided not to today since we are gonna have to pump gas twice if we do and that's already a hundred dollars if we decide to do that because Mall of Georgia is like three hours away so it'll be too expensive so we decided not to we just took her this morning to a little play gym and that was it for today and we're just gonna do some of our errands so I'm gonna go ahead and package this up I just quickly wanted to update you guys today and what's going on
Today is July 26th. It is a Wednesday. It's already the afternoon. I already laid Mia down for her nap, but she is not asleep yet. We are continuing the cleaning part of everything. As you guys saw, I already cleaned Mia's room. I already decluttered everything that needs to be decluttered and separated her toys so we can rotate it. Um, so I kind of just showed you guys the stuff because I really wasn't planning to vlog that day. I just wanted to get done with it because i wasn't gonna do it if i was planning to film it i kept putting it off so i was like let me just start it and then i'll just vlog clips of it i hope you guys are okay with that i don't even think that was interesting for you guys because i think you guys are mainly here for my other stuff like decluttering my own area so i did bring some boxes here that has stuff that i want to kind of separate i want to bring everything like Sanrio related that I do want to sell basically anything other than my dolls that I'm trying to sell um, I'm gonna bring in this room and I'll kind of separate it so I'll take pictures of it in waves so I don't get overwhelmed and then we'll just tackle everything one step at a time because honestly I do get overwhelmed and when I do, I put stuff off here is a box these are not Sanrio related but these are just random things that i don't really use that little thing though that's for my daughter i just hid it from her um but anything under there is just like little accessories like fashion accessories that i don't really use or i won't really use anymore i did use them but i won't anymore and then here i have like random things like this i already put up on my mercari and then there's some other things in there that i do need to take pictures and kind of batch them so i don't get overwhelmed i'll batch taking pictures of them and kind of take time taking pictures of stuff because i do have a lot and again this is excluding my dolls i'll probably take pictures of my lol omg dolls and then i don't know i think i will go ahead and sell my draculaura right here she's out of box i already took her out i just have everything out of box but that's fine um i have to make sure she has the right accessories though because i did combine this and the basic one i was also doing my little dividers as you guys saw i was doing my dividers i've been this has been a project for me for a while now these are my dividers for my budgeting stickers so they look like this and I get tabs from Amazon to like, separate them. Like this is the washi tape, calendar. Um, this is the add-on. So this is July. And the side is how I know which one it is. So we're actually in September now. I just finished my September kits. So that's actually in the works. But this one, this is August. She does not have any dividers so i bought more of the tabs on amazon they were five bucks for 16 pieces so a pack is 16 pieces so a pack is 5.49 i think so i bought like five more because i do have five more months i'm trying to have like a set budgeting kit every month so this one is january this is all from 2023 and i'm gonna keep this cut as kind of like a baseline of my budgeting kits and if i ever want to make like an extra july kit like with a different pattern or a different january kit i'll make that but this is always going to be available this is january february march april may june then we have July here, August, and September. It hasn't been cut yet. I'm actually missing more of this, but I didn't have the files for this anymore because like sometime last year, my, all my files got deleted. So I had to remake everything from scratch. So yeah, I don't have this anymore. So I kind of just made like a little blank um, page like because I need more. I This is not enough. This is only 60. I need I need 40 more. Um, so I made more in the same size but just a blank and then I'll just laminate these later and kind of cut them the same way so whenever I do get my tabs I can go ahead and tab them and then I'll have them ready as soon as I get done with December because I'm gonna design October which is gonna be this one is October, November and then December and then I'll have a set for the whole year just in case you like to budget early or plan early or if I have a sale you want to pre-buy everything with a good sale that's what i've been doing actually and just been like finishing up some loose end stuff that i haven't finished like my acrylic pins that i didn't pin 
I went ahead and pinned those. My keychains, I went ahead and finished those up. Just boring like shop stuff that's kind of like in the back end that you guys don't see. I also released my September kits today. Like I mentioned, that's already out. I quickly made a custom template for my custom script stickers. It's in a small, I think, 5x4 sticker sheet. I plan to make a bigger one, kind of like as big as my planner kits. But not right now because that's going to be a lot of cutting. But if you guys are interested on custom scripts for your planners, I do have that. Alright, so here I do have this little bin right here. Oh my gosh. Oh no. My Funko Pop. I have Shinobu and Obanai here. Isn't Shinobu so pretty? Um, but anyways, I have this like container. Oh my gosh. I need to take this inside my room because I do have some stuff in here that I do want to sell that I haven't even opened yet. Like, like these Hello Kitty like little things that came from like a surprise thing. And then I'm sure I have other ones here that are also not open. I have more of these Hello Kitty stuff. And then these, I don't know what I'll do with those. And then, not only that, I have more in that closet in there. I think this one is empty. Nope. This has my OMG dolls. This one, I have more Sanrio stuff that I need to get. So, this is also going in the room. This is kind of heavy. So, I'm just going to do this real quick. And then, let me show you guys the other ones that I do need to get um, over here. So in here, I have more stuff, again, more stuff for, well, except for that. And then I have more stuff in here, just quite a bit of stuff, honestly, that I am planning to sell. So I'm going to take everything that I plan to sell that are not dolls in my room right now, and then I'll try to separate them that are not dolls and not clothes. So I guess I could include these hats, but just not my clothes from my closet, so I'll be right back. I've separated some stuff like my mangas and all of that is like Sanrio slash random stuff slash Squishmallow stuff. But I think I'm going to list my Funko Pops first, the ones that I have left. Well, these are not all of it. Um, the ones that I'm keeping is over there in that box. It's mostly Demon Slayer and then one Gojo. I have this one. But I also have the one where he doesn't have the blindfold. So I'm keeping that one instead of this. I try to keep just one Gojo because he's he's definitely my husbando. And I'm definitely going to get a Gato one if it comes out. But these are the ones I am selling in my Mercari. I have two of these for some reason. Um, and then I have this random one. 
um, that's selling. And then I'm also gonna sell the ones over there, like the decided to sell my Inuyasha one and then the Sanrio ones over there on the side. Um, I'm just really like, trying to get rid of clutter. And then I have some mangas here. I have one manga that's almost complete. It's the Gentleman's Alliance. I don't know if you guys have read this, but this one is my favorite and like my very first manga that I've ever had. So I'm actually either going to sell this or I'm going to give it to my sister because it's also her first manga since we shared. I have some full metal ones here. I don't really... You know, I love Full Metal, but I don't really use mangas, honestly, or I don't really read them. I have a Your Lie in April manga, a Kingdom Hearts one. I got that from a box, I think. I have this one, which is Doubt. I have one and two, and then I have like a little witch magazine. It's not really a manga. What well, kind of version of manga? I have this. Um, and then I have a DVD of some Tenjo Tenge, which I don't really need. It's like DVD because this is on Crunchyroll, so I don't really need it. It's kind of like etchy, and I've I watched this really young, so <laughs> it's an old anime. But yeah, those are the ones I have for right now. I think I'm going to get my other stuff, like my figures, list that as well. And then that box, and then this one I haven't tackled yet because it's a full of Sanrio. I'm pretty sure so I think I'm gonna list this by priority is listing this one right here and I'm still gonna decide on this but everything else will get listed um, for just a fairly good price I think just so you know they'll go to good homes I don't want to throw anything away um, but if you know by the time comes that nobody buys them I am just gonna I'm just gonna donate them like this one my sister loves this but she has her own copy of this, so I don't really need them to. Like, nobody uses the DVDs. I wanted to use them as decoration, but they were, like, fairly cheap. I think they were, like, five bucks each. So I'm just going to sell them for five bucks for the two of them. taking pictures of all of the Funko Pops and some Squishmallows and one wallet but it's already time to wake me up in five minutes I have five minutes to myself for a little bit um, I was able to edit the pictures a little bit and later I'm just gonna slowly upload them throughout my day or the rest of my day and then I don't know when my husband gets here I'm gonna separate the rest of my stuff because I didn't get to finish separating them uh, honestly I feel so overwhelmed with the Sanrio stuff there's too much and I don't know how I'll separate them but I know that I wanted to get the Funko Pops out of the way because my my daughter is gonna come in here and she's gonna play with things so that's already put away in that box along with the other stuff that I already had taken pictures of or listed already that is how this decluttering is going for me I'm prioritizing taking pictures of everything that I think needs prioritizing You were already awake, Mama. Hi, baby. Good morning. Oh, you're heavy. Oh, you're wet too. Goodness. Are you cold? I honestly don't remember what I vlogged last. I know I was still, you know, in the middle of all of this, but I had to pause it because we actually had dinner with family. Mingo's parents brought some stuff here to eat and my sister and my brother-in-law came over here with um, their kids. So we were all eating together and I actually didn't even film any of that. And I actually like to film that stuff because it just, it's nice to look back on and see like all the family stuff that we've done together. So I'm pretty mad that I didn't film like I usually just film like three seconds of it I don't know in the next place if they'll ever come over because we're farther I just want to remember the nights that they could come over here and have dinner with us so I was kind of annoyed that I didn't pick up the camera I had to pause my little you know 
posting stuff but i was able to post everything that i took a picture of today on my mercari and also some on my depop i actually made two sales already for today so i was able to sell my squishmallow my karomi one and one of my funko pops um i really lowered my my funko pops because i just really wanted to get rid of them most of them were sold for 15 to 16 dollars only the ones that i know they're kind of higher are above 20 dollars but not above 30 dollars and everything was below 30 bucks this like even though their ppg is higher i just wanted to sell fast especially this dorothy one i guess was really popular because i had another offer for this but i don't know i had two of her at one point but i don't remember watching this anime so yeah she sold and my karomi one sold so i'm gonna package that up tonight hopefully and get that ready for tomorrow i don't know i just like showing you guys the process of decluttering and making money off of my decluttering even though i did spend money getting these items i am getting some money back and that goes towards either our budget or towards our debt-free journey so that's kind of exciting because we are currently on a debt-free journey and hopefully be more informed on finances i'm trying to educate myself more and trying to get that out and like trying to get out of the mindset of consumerism even though it's hard it's really hard um try my best